Under a few of my Framework Laptop 13 videos, I got comments saying that anything compared to an M chip MacBook is mediocre at best. And my first thought was always, bro, these two companies have literally nothing to do with each other. But when I thought about it more, there actually are some similarities that these two companies share. And I would almost bet my hat that after a ThinkPad, uh, a MacBook would be the most common alternative that a framework laptop buyer considers. And what are these similarities? Well, before we dive into that, just as in the System76 video, there isn't going to be a head-to-head -head comparison between two particular laptops. This video will be more about the philosophy of the company and the target customers these two companies have. But I'm actually planning to do a video where I'll be putting up the MacBook Pro 14 against the Framework Laptop 13 in a head-to-head -head battle. So if you would like to see that, please like and subscribe. But what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the similarities. Now, before any of you start writing that I'm actually extremely dumb and that while Framework is a beacon of hope, uh, Apple is the ninth circle of hell. Yes, I know, these companies do not really compete with each other. Framework builds laptops for enthusiasts, for people that want to own a thing they actually bought. And if a certain part breaks or gets obsolete, Framework believes that you should be able to just buy a new one without having to buy a completely new laptop as a whole. This is something that Apple never was and never will be. But what if I said that Framework is trying to be the Apple of repairable and upgradable computers? What I mean is that when you look at Framework's website and the way they communicate with people and how they frame their computers, it all feels very Apple-like, you know, giving the computer a human face. Apple has been the best at this since, well, 1984, when the first Macintosh was introduced. And I personally have a soft spot for technology companies that do this. To be completely frank, it is a huge reason why I decided to ultimately buy a Framework laptop instead of any other repairable laptop with a good Linux support. For many of you, this might be just seen as like manipulation of the customer, you know, if the product itself would be very good, there wouldn't be need for this sort of marketing, but I just really care about it. I care about Nirav being on LTT and doing these personal videos when new upgrades come out and also that the whole company has this sort of design language built into it. I, I personally really care about this. Another thing that I already mentioned is their website and their configuration process. It is very Apple-like and I love it. On top, you can see all of the computers and the configuration process itself is very quick, intuitive and visual based. I really like that you have this picture of your computer that you're just configuring on the left side of the configurator all the time. I just hate when I'm buying laptops from companies like Lenovo or Asus and there are like 3000 pre-built versions and when you search for them on Amazon, there's like this diarrhea of information in the title of the listing and you just cannot find how much storage it has and how much RAM it has. It's all hidden somewhere else and every listing looks different. I just hate that. It makes the laptop feel much less premium. But do you remember what I said at the beginning? Yes, I truly believe that Apple computers, mainly their laptops, are often uh, considered by people that would potentially buy a framework laptop. Why? Well, the reason is very often macOS and all that comes with it. macOS gives you the best of both worlds and you don't have to take my word for it. There is a reason why people like Jeff Geerling, George Hotz or Andre Karpati are using macOS instead of Linux on their personal computers. It gives you a normal terminal, a normal file system, while also offering a very good support for professional apps like Adobe products. Sure, if you want total customization freedom like you have on your Arch system, uh, macOS will not be able to provide this, but for people like me that do not care about this and just want a mostly bloat-free operating system that functions well, macOS ticks almost all of the boxes. And don't get me wrong, I love Linux, I truly love Linux, but when I tried installing DaVinci Resolve on it, it gave me massive headaches and it didn't even work very well. So unfortunately, there are things that you have to give up if you want to use Linux full time. But if you just can't give them up and you don't want to use Windows, which trust me, I don't want to use Windows, even though I'm using Windows, uh, there just isn't a better alternative than macOS. 
So these are the two reasons why I think that Apple and Framework are actually fighting for a very similar customer base and why I think that uh, Apple is, even though it may sound funny, a much bigger competitor to Framework than, for example, System76. Framework is definitely trying to go the Apple route when it comes to how they market their computers, how they give them a very human face. And I think this is a great strategy and it's been working out great for them. And then there's macOS, which is like a very solid PlayStation exclusive, which you just have to consider when you're comparing two consoles. You just cannot deny that it exists. But what do you think about Apple? Do you see it as a very evil company that just wants you to buy very expensive stuff that breaks within a few years for you to then buy just another stuff and is pretending like they care about zero waste? Or are you more sympathetic to it? Let me know in the comments, I would love to hear your opinion. I personally have a very soft spot for Apple, uh, which you just cannot really describe. I've already made even a video about how uh, Apple is forcing you, like the social pressure that Apple is putting up on you. I will link it in the description. So if you want to see that, it's one of my first videos, so you can check it out. Uh, but that will be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe, and also check out my Discord and Patreon. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.